As part of our ongoing work to support arbitrary output variables, new in 22.1 is the ability to output additional data passes for movie capture. Arbitrary output variables are data known to the renderer and used to compute illumination. Typically, AOVs contain the decomposed lighting information, such as direct and indirect illumination, reflections and refractions, and objects with self-illumination, but can also contain geometric and scene information, such as surface position in space, orientation of normals, and depth from camera. As the final image is computed, the intermediate information used during rendering can optionally be written to disk. Having these extra images can be hugely beneficial, as it provides additional opportunities to modify the final image during compositing, or provide additional insight through 2D analysis. The auxiliary images are called passes, which USD calls render products, and are basically just named outputs. The AOV data used by the renderer is referred to as a render variable, and defines what is written for each render product or pass. In this tutorial, you will learn the process of creating AOVs and rendering them to disk in movie capture. To begin, open one of the NVIDIA sample projects. In this example, I'll use Euclid VR. To render AOVs, you must first create the USD render product and render variables in your stage. In the stage or viewport, right-click and select Create AOV. This creates a new render scope that contains your render product and render variables. There's nothing you need to do with these AOVs. They must be declared if you want to generate additional render passes. Expanding the list, you can see the supported list of output variables. The variables are based on a predefined list of data known to the renderer, and in the future will be extended to support arbitrary shading data and custom light path expressions. Next, click on the render view render product. This product defines what variables movie capture will write to disk, and from which camera you will generate your images. Click Add Targets next to the camera and filter for camera objects in the stage. Select VR Kit Camera and click Add. Next, open Movie Capture. From the menu bar, go to Windows, Rendering, Movie Capture. In the Rendering section, change the rendering preset to RTX Path Traced and add your rendering product, slash render, slash render view. Adjust your path trace samples to 64 or whatever sampling rate you feel appropriate. Under output, enter the output path and name of your image sequence. Change the file format to EXR and enable alpha and HDR output. Then capture your image or sequence. If you browse to your output path, you'll see all your output images and passes. Currently, AOVs work in path trace mode with EXR images, but in future releases we'll add RT and ground truth modes and other output image formats. We hope you enjoyed this new feature, and we'll be sure to let you know as we continue to make improvements. Thank you.